ocean key, Got steel drum music, blue skies, blue waters. All right. Good, Good morning. morning. Welcome officially to Ocean Key. It's beautiful out there. Yeah, yeah. So. 66 degrees. <laughs> it, it feels warmer than that. That's what the cruise director said. So. Uh, maybe that was Celsius. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not too. So breakfast, mm -hmm. um, I guess we're gonna hit the buffet because the uh, dining room is closed. Yeah. Uh, and then we're gonna hit the water. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna hit some fish. We're oh. gonna hit them. No, no, no. Hit mm -hmm. some stingrays. Yeah. Oh gosh, they always have them in their hair. I'm so excited. All right, let's go explore. Mm -hmm. That's the plan for the day, right? And go to the buffet on the island because we haven't done that in a few it's years. Been a while. Yeah. yeah. See what's up with that. Yeah. So. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Making our way to the back buffet line, so it is a little less crowded back here. Nice. Ah, plates. Perfect. Ooh, yogurt bar. Breakfast of champions. I do like how we both chose to put chocolate Rice Krispies on our oatmeal. We got a nice little baked apple. Oh, yeah. Welcome to deck four. Exit to their left. 11.30 p.m. Back on board. I can do that. Oh, I got photo ops and everything. Thank you. So we got like the little welcome building, the tram station, foot wash. Yeah, that is good. We're going to continue walking in this direction. Just wander in the direction of the lighthouse and you'll have a good day. <laughs> That's what I always say. Well, we have found a chair here on the beach. It's a little wavy out here today, but we're gonna get in anyway. Brave the waves. <laughs> well, we're making our way down the beach toward the rock wall. A little refreshing on the feet, but that's to be expected in February, yeah? All right, we made it out to Dee's launch point here. Yeah. Yeah, every little wave brings it further up on your body. Not you're... as cold as I woo, thought it was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, big massive rocky stuff out here. Rock wall by the lighthouse. We in business. Going to the net. It is time for an Ocean Key spin. Ah, we've been waiting a while to come back to Ocean Key now. It's always one of our favorite spots. We're excited to maybe, hopefully, finally get over and look at the buffet again. Things we haven't done in a while. And we should have the Junk New Parade and the lighthouse shows tonight. Oh, <laughs> 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 So the verdict is very cloudy out by the net. We're checking around these little rock walls and stuff's up here now, closer to the shore. And other than a few small areas as you get closer over here to the rock wall, this is mostly a nice soft sandy beach, so no water shoes required today. Look at all these different things. Look at Let's do a brief history lesson for anybody who might not have seen our other Ocean Key videos. I guess according to MSC, this island used to be like a metal dumping ground and they bought it outright from the Bahamas so that they could clean it up, sort of protect it and help grow coral reefs and stuff around the island. So turned from a dump into a champ. That didn't rhyme. Guys, my rhyming game is not good today. But anyway, we always love coming here to see how the coral is progressing, things like that. Dee is out at the net right now trying to see if she can find any friends out there. Always a good day. Oh, I do see some people climbing the lighthouse. I know that was and probably still is like a pay excursion. I don't know 
gosh, when we were here in 2020, I think it was 10 bucks to climb the lighthouse. I've not checked the pricing lately, but I don't know that I've really seen many people climbing it. But folks are doing it today. You can call it if you want to. Thank you. Mermaid D is back <laughs> with an update. So the thing about this particular beach is you have to go out to the net because that's where all the fish just hang out waiting to come in or just, I don't know what they're doing out there, but there's like a huge variety. Mostly it's like the, there's grunts that always are in like a little school together and kind of float in and out. But what's been fun today is like bouncing with the waves because the fish are doing the same thing. So if you just go along with the waves, you're gonna go where the fish are. Don't do that if you can't swim, that's a terrible idea because you do have to get yourself back. But um, even on like a wavy day, it's still a good snorkeling, I'm happy, yeah. yeah. We're getting closer, midday now, the beach is getting a little fuller. This is the only beach that we're aware of that has like the umbrellas included, so a popular. <laughs> Time to motivate toward the shore. We have hopped off the beach now and we are going to beat the streets, hit the paths out here and see what the heck we can learn on the way to maybe finding some food because it's uh, just noonish, just after noon. There is the beach shack. I remember they have some free food there, but I think they have uh, some pay options, which we've heard are pretty good. It's one of the transport pavilions where you can wait for the carriers to come by and get you. And they have little wheelie dudes. Oh, never mind. Trams and carts will not pick up at this pavilion. And that may just be today. <laughs> Good big. Little map. All right, interesting. Bathrooms over here. Yeah, let me correct ourselves immediately. That's funny. <laughs> Here's the turn off to this other side of the beach that's next to Lighthouse that was kind of eroded last time we looked at it. Let's peek. Well, there are folks out here. It does not look as crazy eroded as the times we've seen it before. So definitely uh, getting to be more usable, this beach on this side. Cool. This one I'd recommend water shoes though. Yeah. Just to get to the water, it's like full of shells and pebbles like all over. Yeah, so true. You can do it, but it's painful. <laughs> Yeah, I forget the official name. I've always called this Sunset Beach, and I don't know if it was ever called Sunset Beach or I made that up, but <laughs> I'll have to see. Looks like they got some construction going on here. He has been distracted by a flower or a bird oh, okay. or something. Right. These berries. I'm not going to eat them, but oh. cool. Oh, are they sea grapes? They, I don't know if I would know sea grapes at first look. We don't eat them, but we take pictures <laughs> of them. Well, there's just a little peek over to the lagoon. And of course, what is it? Seekers, the name of the buffet here. Well, they're definitely open. We'll come down here toward the lagoon and take this right and use the approved buffet entrance. Well, there is the line for the food. So how about we don't? <laughs> hey, I'm not crazy. It is called Sunset Beach on that side. Okay, yeah, so we started up here, Lighthouse Bay, wandered over and looked at Sunset Beach. And now we're just um here. Yeah, there's the Yacht Club Island. Guys, they have dolphins and turtles at the Yacht Club Island. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get back over there. Uh, so rude on the map, that's the only place they put it. Yeah, they're like, you don't get any dolphins or turtles over here. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You get birds. Yep. And well... You get little fish. Little shrimp or fish, whatever those are. Nemo, Nemo. We found him. And we've got what I think is like uh, employee staff type housing. And we're up here to the shopping village and we've kind of come full circle. Oh, we've settled in here at the Smiling Fish, which offers coffee, iced coffee, and of course, ice cream in fish-shaped cones. Oh, man. Oh, there's our ice cream menu, so it looks like I see some nine bucks, seven bucks. Tappins, coffee and iced coffee menu. Ooh, what are we looking at for iced? $3.25 for a large, $4.25 with milk. Yeah, we might do that. Nilla latte. Huh. 
Oh, I tried to get two of the Coco de la Lattes. They don't have them right now, so we're just doing iced coffee with milk. That'll work. Something iced today. <laughs> Ooh, there's the ice cream. I mean, I know we're just kind of looking at a lot of like aluminum steel, stainless steel pans right now, but you know, there's good stuff in there. Cute. They also don't seem to have any sugar free syrup offerings, but we've got yellows and blues. Yeah, let's go blue today. Boom, iced coffee success. <laughs> D got one too, not just me, so there we go. <laughs> Don't want people to think, why didn't they get one? <laughs> Don't worry, he takes care of me. Yeah, we've got Wi-Fi here on the island. I forgot the ship Wi-Fi does extend out here. Travel Agent D is able to make calls over Wi-Fi, which is always a good thing. She working hard back there, I tell you. <laughs> oh, it is nice under this umbrella with this breeze. We could not ask for better weather today. Just look at these blue skies. See them? All this blue? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, there they are. Found them. Yeah, there's like hardly a cloud in the sky today. All right, a few hours have passed. It's about what, two o'clock? Yep. So we're gonna go see if these lines have calmed down. Y'all, I think we done did it again. They might have shut the buffet at two o'clock. I didn't have my paper on me to see the times today. Yes, we just confirmed they are closed at 2 o'clock, but they've given us access. We can get a burger, a dog, and some fries. Well, let's see what else we could have had. Beans. Let's see maybe some potatoey things. I think the ribs are down there. Fruit. Man, y'all, we need to learn to read better. Ah, we're getting lots of mixed messages today. We were told by one gentleman we could come in here and get some ribs and some sides and stuff, and then somebody else has told us, no, don't even bother touching these plates because they're taking them away and they've shut us down. Man, all right, let's see what we can do. Let's run. Yeah, she told us very specifically we are not allowed to get ribs or anything while we're in here, so there we are. I got my approved food. I'm good, I'm good. All right, the lady did allow Dee to grab one side plate before they booted us out of the buffet, which was these beans. So she got a hot dog and fries and beans. I did not get anything from the grab or the non-grabbing go, which is cool. But yeah, I'm not sharing your beans. Y'all, the beans aren't even good, okay? <laughs> They're just hard. They're just hard. Um, but no, we're, we're good with the fact that they have rules here and they closed at two o'clock and we did not understand that properly. But just the fact that the one gentleman told us we got, we were, we were cool with the grab and go and the one guy said sure come on inside grab some food and we got our mouths set on those ribs and all that chicken and then the other lady was like no please leave it's all right it was a miscommunication and we're good with it we had our burgers and our dogs and we're heading back to the ship in a hot minute so 2 30 is our official closing time for the grab and go there go the doors all right meraviglia we're coming back for you now Pull up here past Springer's R. Must not be there. We're gonna walk through the little town here, as it were. Logo gear on that side. Yeah, I guess this big building that we came in at is where you can rent stuff. Oh, well, it's very specific stuff. I think that's, you know, umbrellas and floats and things like that. Maybe snorkel gear and stuff. Entree. Home, semi sweet home. Clean. clean. Good Very clean, clean evening. Uh, we have gotten ready for dinner mode, but it's... We don't know where we're going. <laughs> yeah, it's mystery dinner mode. Yeah. We decided we cannot wait until 8.30 p.m. for dinner because at 9 o'clock on the island, all the fun stuff starts. Yeah. Lighthouse shows, beach parties. So we cannot do our seated dining. Uh, so it's about 6. We're going to jump out and see if maybe the sushi restaurant has a reservation because we've not made, mm -hmm. well, we've not been able to make. I made a couple of calls and we tried to do it on the touch wall thing. It's kind of difficult. Didn't and we've work. never been there, so that's a new restaurant to show yeah. you guys too. Yeah, but if they don't, then we might just Starve. go to the buffet. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, we don't know where we're going. So right now we are in shorts and non-fun socks mode. Yeah. I had some socks that would be appropriate for the sushi restaurant. If we get to eat there, I'll try to wear them maybe tomorrow. There you go. Anyway, let's go see where the heck we're eating. Yes, it's Get a home. mystery. <laughs> Bye. Right, here we go. The test. Oh, they have like, I know, fingers crossed. They have like um bottles on ice here. Oh, because this is the champagne bar. Cute. Well, here comes the sushi place. Y'all, we struck out. No such luck. All right, we might be going to the buffet. 
baby. We have got muscle potato soup, apparently. Oh, this is the pasta station. We'll pass by the salad bar. Let's get up here to the rotisserie section. Oh, we've got roast pork, mashed potatoes, chicken. Oh, fun. They've got little pre-made sandwiches, tuna, chicken, egg. Or you can just get a scoop of the salad without bread. Oh, here at the ethnic section is actually dessert. They got bread pudding and a berry cobbler. And then over on the other side, some cookies and stuff. And this section is just called assorted pastries. Food. Food. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we got here just in time. They've closed down the entire back section. Whoa. Hey now, uh, to where you can't go back there and sit or anything, and they closed off the uh, buffet line that we just came through. So hopefully, when we came in, the other side was closed. I'm assuming they're opening the other side and closing this side off. Mm. Six yeah. Oh yeah, they're pulling all the food off of this side. So yeah, I'm not sure logistically why, but uh, I guess if we want to refill or anything like that, we'll just walk around to the other side of the buffet, yeah? Mm. At least the water station is still open back there, so I can go get water and I can get coffee. Guys, did you know that dinner plates also double as fantastic drink holders and you can get mass quantities of water at one time? My only theory is, was this the end of the lunch buffet and they've shut it down and they're opening dinner on the other side? I could be a genius. Yeah, because right at six o'clock they shut this one down and that might have been the end of lunch. It is. Yeah, just walking down the buffet line, it looks very similar. They do have some actual savory stuff down at Ethnic, so we crack the code. I think this side is the dinner buffet which has just opened. I need to remember to take pictures of the schedule every day because we can't find anywhere in the app to see when, like the hours, that things are open. So yeah, if we took a picture of our paper, that might also help answer some questions. Well, here in the atrium we've got delightful piano melodies. roof action. Now they are doing a roof show I guess later. I don't know if I mentioned that or not in conjunction with the lighthouse show. We've also got some tunes happening up here in this little lounge over to the side. actually sold out because there's only one showtime tonight. Okay, we are gonna sit right back here where we did yesterday. We've got nice leg room, look at all this stuff. Boom. This is a brilliant show. You're ready for a great show. And you have been a tremendous audience. Oh, and don't forget the show tomorrow, The Hypnotist. It's brilliant. It really is. That's what they tell me anyway. For those people that participate, I'm not quite sure. They do become the show. We've got a brilliant show. All I would ask is that you stamp your feet, you clap your hands, you throw small children into the air. It's a great show. The cast are born to rock. Give them a big round of applause.
let's see if we can go up a deck above Promenade tonight. They're having another one of these moments here in a few moments, and we figure let's not get stuck down in it tonight. Oh, look at this view. That'll work. So this, I believe, is called the Tropical Moment. and the TV studio and all that stuff. Oh, hey, look at me, there I am in the reflection. It's a good spot to watch. Yeah, it is. So I'm curious to see, we're kind of torn between the lighthouse show, the dome show. There's a lot of, a lot of decisions to make tonight, actually. I don't know that we're feeling like going back outside, but we'll bring you some fun. Short cruise, you know, they have to cram it all in. So we might do something different because we've gone to the lighthouse show outside several times, but then I think this would be cool. Yeah, this is unique. Whoa, we found some banding in here. Look at this cool flickery effect. Anyway, we've come into the uh, TV studio or whatever it's called just to hang out a little bit. Another reason we were thinking, um, you know, we were excited to go back outside is because there's always the Junk Canoe Parade, but neither the app, nor the paper, nor the cruise director's speech has mentioned a Junk Canoe Parade, so I don't know if we have one. So I think it's just gonna be the beach party and the lighthouse show. So, yeah, yeah. This is a cool space though. I guess they got karaoke in here later. Random other things. I like the little graphics. It's time for a dome show. Not a dumb show, but a dome show. All right, judging by the excited crowd gathering to watch this dome show. No, I think a lot of people probably did go outside. But I'm excited for this actually. I hope they pump in the music from outside. Yeah, definitely unique. Ooh, I think the technical crew has arrived. The logo has changed to MSC on air. Oh, uh oh, guys, we're going to be looking at an upside down lighthouse. You go over there? Uh oh. <laughs> Here, I'll just flip the screen upside down in editing. It'll be fine. Still pretty darn exciting. Just flip it. Yeah, that's right. Thanks, Editing Jay, for flipping that over for us. Well, now you know what's pretty darn exciting. Let's find some pizza. Oh, I overshot you there. Let's try that again. Let's find some pizza. Hungry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this photo op. I didn't see that before. That's cool. I guess they've got some tunes happening in the pub. Ah, there's the sushi bar. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. 
gosh, don't breathe the air. It even smells good walking by the place. All right, don't sniff, don't inhale. I'm sure our pizza is gonna smell wonderful. They make good pizza. They do. Oh my gosh, look at its beautifulness. So we have margarita, we have veggie, whole grain, and pepperoni. Pizza, pizza, yeah, yeah. We are thoroughly satisfied. The pizza has been delicious. I love it. Yeah, the more we walk around this ship, we realize we really, really like this ship. Like for layout, venues. It's a good ship. The closer you come to the main stage, the better music you will actually Silent hear. disco on the pool deck. In just a few more minutes time, you will actually find out the different music on all three channels. This is the time for you to actually receive your headset by next to our main stage. So we've got our headsets. It's a hundred dollar charge if you don't bring these back now, so look out. But we have one DJ spinning live on the Blue Channel. Red, he said, is pre-recorded Latin, and green is pre-recorded oldies. Sounds like a love book. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. Actually, it's backwards. Green is Latin, and red is oldies. Anyway, I'm on Blue, which is the live mix, and they're playing some ABBA right now, okay? There's our dancing queen right there. <laughs> You are now into the world of silent disco and of course for those who are here for the first time and if you are joining us for the first time, welcome, welcome to the silent disco. Say oh yeah! Oh yeah! Well he just said something That's different. He said the live mix is on green so I really don't know these colors. I'm just going to flip until I find cool stuff. <laughs> oh no, it's the cha-cha slide, okay. <laughs> He's mixing in something else now. Oh, it's Dirty Bit by the Black Eyed Peas. Dirty Bit. Really loud. <laughs> yeah, we got some fireball happening. I'm more interested in internet balls than fireball, but you know, that's just me. Everybody's Shake that. Whoa. Oh, the girls really are hitting their, hitting their hallelujahs there. Oh, that's not how the drop is supposed to go. The remix! <laughs> well, we brought our tunes up to the top deck. We can see down to the old Luna Libre party down there. It's almost 10 o'clock. Time for the second lighthouse show. Well, it's a little too crowded on the top deck to get a spot. We have seen the second lighthouse show. Maybe we'll try to catch it next uh, loop. But it's the super emotional one with all the turtles and the island stuff and the stingrays. Oh, you are um too hyped to be emotional right now? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> floor up here oh yeah oh whoop just kidding now we got company <laughs> no they have broken out cotton eye gel okay that's too much like exercise are you do you know the uh, I know like some of it nice oh it's a remix too they've done some interesting things with it nice yeah, pretty much the entire starboard side of the ship is just loaded up with folks trying to line up and get a view of the lighthouse show for, for whatever they can see through the glass or over the rails. Oh, now we changed to more black eyed peas. Yeah, somebody's doing some random drone flying over the ship. I think you need more lights than that when you're flying your drone around at night after sunset, if I remember my pilot's training. I seem to recall that if you're gonna fly more than 30 minutes after sunset, you gotta have some bigger, fancier lights than just those built-ins. Uh, we're singing as the anthems of Barbados. What? It's all the Barbadian anthems. That's right. It's diamonds. <laughs> Rihanna. Rihanna. <laughs> all right, let's get back down to the party. Oh man, this is like an hour and a half silent disco. They, uh, they got a while to party still. <laughs> We're up all night to get lucky. Whoa! Hey <laughs> name this is song. Oh, Dee has decided to claim her own dancing stage out here, y'all. Holy moly! All right. <laughs> as long as 
nobody ends up in the pool, I guess we'll be all right. All right, headphones, you served us well, but it is time to wander. Somebody's excited. <laughs> Deck six. Wow. There's too many mirrors in here for that many cool. Ooh, we got some Latin tunes happening over there. Okay. Let's hop up to seven. Ooh, looks like I might be standing room only at karaoke. Good gosh, it's noisy. I got Latin music, karaoke music. Well, let's do some dome basking and listening to Latin music. A little echoey up here. <laughs> Back down, down we go. We can't make up our minds. <laughs> oh, spontaneous fits of dancing have broken out. your pictures out here. It's not just those digital kiosks that we saw earlier. Uh. We've come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow and apparently another note about balcony cleaning. I thought they did that today. <laughs> We're gonna have to clean this balcony around. Good night. Good night. We're back in the cabin. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're still in Ocean Key. Yeah. Did you know that? We don't so move weird. until tomorrow. It's kind of nice. The ship's not moving. <laughs> it's good. That's true. It is warm in our cabin. The yeah. One thing that's weird, I mean, I get it. It's energy saving, but when you have to take your key card with you and it turns your air and your electric sockets off, we tried fooling it with other cards. It does not work. Uh, yeah. Maybe if you save I think you magnetize, non magnetized. It didn't work. Maybe save an old MSC card. <laughs> it would work. Maybe. I think it's some like RFID stuff. Is that even a thing? I don't know. It's, I understand. I know. But it does stink because like charging stuff. Yeah. And, and every time you come back to your cabin is hot so you yeah. gotta recool your cabin down yeah. you know we don't even have dinner to talk about i mean you can <laughs> talk about buffet food what don't do it to the end because you know people don't want to hear about dinner so okay let's talk about the show the show is really good mm. i'm just gonna say their singers are so good yeah. and can hold a note they were powerhouse tonight, good grief actually. and the thing about the mc ms <laughs> msc dancers like they don't just do like little simple moves. They do about 150 moves to one song. Like they mm. are just all over the place. Mm -hmm. And they, they definitely like put it all out there. I, I really enjoy their energy. Yeah. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess that's it. What else? I mean, we went to the uh, silent disco. We that was super fun. Yeah. yeah. I like dancing on those beds. That's fun. It's, it's like another little stage you have. I don't know. I thought that was cool. And I love the area out there. Yeah. Lots of dancing space. It's yeah. cool. Dome show. Not quite as cool as seeing it on the lighthouse, right. but it was literally the same show. I didn't realize they were going to project a picture of a lighthouse up on the ceiling. I thought it was going to take funny. the whole ceiling. <laughs> Hey, Editing J flipped it over, so good that's job. good. Yeah. Uh, but that's about it. So, mm -hmm. And then dinner. Um, buffet. Yeah, it was all right. It was, you know, buffet food. We were confused. Um, the pasta was nice and al dente. It because, was. you know, Italian cruise line, they know how to make pizza and pasta for sure. Mm -hmm. The selection could be better. There's literally like three choices. I try and eat like somewhat yeah. healthy and it's mm, kind of look. hard on here, honestly. It's like, I've eaten french fries, hamburgers, pizza, like Pizza's not by choice though. in all instances. Um, just cause like some of the healthier options weren't open at certain times. Mm. So I We're think learning. they need to improve maybe a little yeah. bit on that, especially if you're vegan, vegetarian, it might be kind of hard to find something at different hours. Yeah. So. so overall, we're falling more and more uh, in enamored with the ship. We love the ship. But the experience is still a little bit of a hindrance. Yeah, but we've talked to a lot of people and they've said the same. Um, yeah. But they've said, you know, they have like corporate people on I guess so, trainers. training and working. And so hopefully it's going to get a little better. bit better. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's not an overall negative experience by any means. No. So, yeah. That's it, y'all. <laughs> Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow in Ocean Key. Oh, yeah.